recognize. I rise in support of this resolution, expressing profound sympathy to our good friends and allies, the people of the Philippines, for the loss of life and property that they have suffered in the recent storms which devastated their country. I also wish to express condolences to those among the over three million members of our Filipino American community who lost loved ones or who had family and friends injured in the floods and the landslides. Over 600 people are now reported dead and over 4,000 homes have been destroyed. An estimated 400,000 persons in Manila and its vicinity had to flee their homes after 80 percent of the capital was submerged by water. The damage is estimated to be almost five billion dollars. I was pleased to note that the Agency for International Development, AID, has allocated 1.8 million dollars in emergency relief funds. The ties between the United States and the Philippines are among the strongest we have with any Asian country. Our two peoples have stood together in war and in peace, with Filipino comrade in arms enduring with our own veterans the siege of Corregidor and the Bataan Death March. The Filipino people then fought bravely for over three years, waiting for General MacArthur to fulfill his pledge to return. More recently, Manila has served as a stalwart ally in the war on terrorism being waged in Southeast Asia. And so your loss is our loss. When the people in the Philippines mourn, we also mourn. And as friends and allies, we will continue to stand by you. I urge my colleagues to strongly support this resolution, and I reserve the balance of my time.